Ever wonder what secrets books can hold far beyond their written words? Are you ready to delve into the dark tales of cursed tomes? Books, we often regard them as simple carriers of knowledge, repositories of human thoughts and gateways to other worlds. But what if they hold more than just words? What if they carry a power far more potent, a power that transcends the ordinary and ventures into the realm of the extraordinary, the eerie, and the outright terrifying. Welcome to the shadowy world of cursed books, a world where the written word takes on a life of its own and wields a power that can bewitch, bedevil, and even bring about doom. These are not your average books. These are tomes that are said to carry a curse, a hex, an ill fortune that befalls those who dare to own them or even read them. The concept of cursed books is not a new one. It has roots deep in history, reaching back to the days of ancient civilizations. These books were often considered sacred, their contents regarded as too powerful for mortal hands. Their words were believed to hold the power to shape destinies, to bring about calamity or bestow blessings. But these books weren't always about doom and gloom. Some were believed to hold the secrets of the universe, the keys to immense knowledge and power. Some were thought to reveal the mysteries of life and death. Yet the same power that made them coveted also made them feared. For it was believed that this power could be misused, could bring about destruction, and cause havoc in the lives of those who possess them. In the modern world, tales of cursed books continue to circulate. Stories of books that bring misfortune, of manuscripts that drive their readers to madness, of texts that seem to predict ominous events. These tales have driven many to question the power and influence of such books. Are they mere figments of overactive imaginations, or do they truly hold a power that defies understanding? Join me on this chilling journey as we unravel the mysteries of books that have been said to carry a curse. Imagine a book so dangerous it drove its readers to madness. Our first cursed book takes us back to ancient Greece. In the heart of this cradle of civilization, nestled in a valley surrounded by towering cliffs, lay the sacred city of Delphi. Here, the oracles, priestesses of the Temple of Apollo, were believed to receive divine prophecies. The words they spoke were thought to be the direct messages from the gods, guiding the destiny of both individuals and states. But amidst the scrolls and scriptures, there was one particular codex that bore a sinister reputation. This was not an ordinary book. The codex was said to contain powerful knowledge, a kind of wisdom that was beyond human comprehension. It was believed to be written in a language only understood by the oracles themselves, a secret code whispered by the gods. Those who attempted to decipher the codex were met with a grim fate, their minds unraveled by the cryptic symbols and phrases, driving them to insanity. The tale of this cursed codex is entwined with the mythology of ancient Greece. Apollo, the god of prophecy was said to have bestowed this codex upon the oracles. It was a divine test of human limits, a tantalizing lure for those who dared to seek the forbidden knowledge. The codex became a symbol of the immense power that words could wield, a chilling reminder of the thin lines separating divine wisdom from mortal madness. Historical records and archaeological findings lend some credibility to these legends. Ancient texts refer to a sacred book that only the oracles could read, while archaeological digs have uncovered fragments of a cryptic script that has yet to be deciphered. The oracles of Delphi and their cursed codex have left an indelible mark on history. The tale has been passed down through generations, a chilling narrative of the power and peril of knowledge. It has inspired countless stories and legends, setting a precedent for the concept of cursed books that transcends cultures and epochs. The Oracles of Delphi and their Cursed Codex, a tale of madness and mystery, setting the stage for many cursed books to come. Fast forward to the 15th century, we encounter a book still undeciphered to this day, the Voynich Manuscript. Emerging from the depths of history, the Voynich Manuscript is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. Named after the Polish book dealer Wilfred Voynich, who purchased it in 1912, this peculiar text is written in an unknown script, its language unlike any other known to mankind. The manuscript's origins are as elusive as its content. Carbon dating places its creation in the early 15th century, somewhere in Central Europe. 
but beyond that, its past remains shrouded in obscurity. Its pages are filled with bizarre illustrations of unidentifiable plants, astrological diagrams, and what appears to be detailed recipes for unknown concoctions, adding to the enigma of its purpose. But alas, the manuscript's mystique doesn't end with its inscrutable language and odd illustrations. A dark curse is said to shadow the Voynich manuscript, bringing misfortune to those who dare to decipher its cryptic pages. From the moment Voynich himself laid hands on the manuscript, his life took a turn for the worse. His once thriving business crumbled, and he met an untimely death, and he was not the only one. Over the centuries, many have tried and failed to crack the code, their endeavors ending in despair, madness, or worse. Despite the curse, or perhaps because of it, the allure of the Voynich manuscript remains unbroken. Scholars, cryptologists, even computer algorithms have tried and failed to decode its secrets, their efforts thwarted by the stubborn resilience of its unknown language. Yet the quest continues, the tantalizing prospect of unveiling the manuscript's secrets proving too tempting to resist. In the end, the Voynich manuscript is a testament to the power of the written word, a cryptic puzzle that has withstood the test of time. Its secrets remain locked away guarded by a curse that leaves only questions in its wake. The Voynich Manuscript, a book that has confounded scholars for centuries, its curse seemingly protecting its secrets. In the 16th century, we come across a book that brought fear to the heart of Europe, the Book of Werewolves. This ominous tome, steeped in the lore of the lycanthrope, struck terror into those who dared to explore its pages, its origins are shrouded in mystery, but we know it emerged during a time of rampant superstition and fear, when werewolf trials were as common as the witch trials that swept across Europe. The Book of Werewolves wasn't just a collection of terrifying tales and folklore. It was a manual, a guide that claimed to reveal the true nature of those cursed to transform under the moonlight. It outlined the signs of a werewolf, the rituals to transform, and the methods to kill these creatures of the night. But it wasn't the content alone that made this book infamous. A sinister reputation clung to it, a curse believed to afflict those who dared to read it. It was said that anyone who delved into its pages would be doomed to a life of nightmares, haunted by the howling of unseen beasts and the gnashing of ethereal fangs. This wasn't a curse to be taken lightly. There were accounts of hardened scholars driven to the brink of madness of libraries refusing to keep the book within their walls for fear of the evil it might unleash. It was a book to be feared, and those who owned it were often regarded with suspicion and dread. Despite the terror it invoked, the Book of Werewolves also served a purpose. It was a reflection of the fear that gripped the people of its time, a fear of the unknown, of the darkness that lurked beyond the safety of their homes. It was a chilling testament to a society gripped by superstition, where the ordinary could become monstrous under the light of the full moon. The Book of Werewolves, a chilling testament to the fear and superstition of its time. This cursed tome remains a fascinating artifact of a time when werewolves weren't just creatures of myth and legend, but a terrifying reality to be confronted and feared. Our journey brings us to the 19th century, to a fictional play within a book, said to drive its readers to insanity, The King in Yellow. The King in Yellow isn't just a book, it's a book within a book. An anthology of short stories penned by Robert W. Chambers, it first saw the light of day in the last decade of the 19th century. It quickly became infamous for the fictional play it contained, a two-act drama also named The King in Yellow. It's this play that's said to bring about a psychological unraveling in those who dare to read it. The play's themes are haunting, centering around a mysterious, otherworldly figure known as the King in Yellow. This figure is connected to a forbidden city named Carcosa, a place of decadence and despair. The play's first act is benign, even inviting, but the second act is where the madness begins. It's here that reality distorts, that the boundaries between the human mind and the alien horrors of Carcosa blur. The curse of the King in Yellow is not one of physical harm, but of psychological torment. It's said that those who read the play, those who delve into its second act, are driven to madness. They become obsessed with the King, with Carcosa, 
with the disturbing truth that the play seems to reveal about the nature of reality itself. But is this curse real, or is it just a piece of brilliant fiction? Is the madness it induces a result of the play's disturbing themes, or is there something more to it? Some believe that the curse is a self-fulfilling prophecy, that the mere belief in its power is enough to drive one to insanity. Others, however, claim to have experienced the curse firsthand. They speak of sleepless nights, of haunting visions, of a sense of dread that lingers long after the book is closed. They warn others not to read the play, to avoid the curse and the madness it brings. The King in Yellow, a book within a book, carrying a curse that transcends its fictional origins. Our final stop takes us to the present day, to a book that has stirred controversy and fear among its readers, The Cursed Child. J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, the eighth story in the Harry Potter series, is not a novel, but a play, a script that has both delighted and perplexed fans worldwide. It carries on the tradition of the Harry Potter series, a tradition steeped in magic, mystery, and the supernatural. But this particular installment comes with an added layer of intrigue, an alleged curse. The Cursed Child, despite its commercial success, was met with mixed reviews, some fans embraced the new tale while others felt it diverged too far from the original series. Controversy arose around the plot, the character development, and the very nature of the play itself. But beneath these debates, whispers of a more sinister nature emerged. Stories began to circulate about a curse tied to the very reading or performance of the play. Actors reported bizarre occurrences during rehearsals and performances. Unexplained mishaps, technical glitches, and a general feeling of unease seemed to permeate the production. Readers, too, began to report strange experiences, feelings of dread, and an inexplicable chill when reading the play. Skeptics brushed these off as mere coincidences, the results of overactive imaginations spurred by the play's supernatural themes. But others, those who've experienced these unusual phenomena, hold a different view. They believe they've fallen victim to the curse of the cursed child. The idea of a cursed book is not new. History is littered with tales of such tomes. But the cursed child brings this concept into the modern age. It's a reminder that curses, those strange and unexplainable phenomena, are not confined to dusty, ancient manuscripts. They can seep into the pages of a contemporary play, into the very fabric of our present-day lives. The Cursed Child a book that proves curses are not just a thing of the past. From ancient Greece to the present day, we've journeyed through the chilling tales of cursed tomes. We've delved into the shadowy corners of libraries and personal collections, unearthing tales that have made even the most hardened bibliophiles shudder. We started our journey with the oracles of Delphi and their cursed codex, a manuscript believed to hold prophecies of doom. The scribes who dared to put these forebodings into written form were said to have been driven to madness, their lives ending in unspeakable tragedy. This tale is a stark reminder of the potential power and danger that can lie within the pages of a book. From there, we moved on to a curse that has spanned centuries, one that has left a chilling trail of misfortune and despair in its wake. This mysterious curse, linked to a nameless book, has been the subject of whispers and hushed conversations amongst scholars. Its pages are said to contain spells and incantations of such malevolent power that merely reading them can bring about calamity. Then we turned our attention to a tale that has sent shivers down the spines of many, the cursed book of the werewolves. This ancient text, filled with arcane rituals and dark secrets, is said to have the power to transform the reader into a creature of the night. The stories of those who've dared to read it are chilling, to say the least. Our journey also took us to a play that drives to madness, a script so potent that its mere performance can plunge an audience into insanity. This play, a dark masterpiece, serves as a powerful reminder of how words can touch the mind and stir the soul, sometimes with catastrophic effects. We also delved into the haunting tale of The Cursed Child, a book that has been the source of countless nightmares. Its harrowing narrative and eerie illustrations have been linked to a string of strange occurrences, with some readers claiming to have been visited by the spectral figure of a child after turning its pages. 
these tales of cursed tomes serve as a stark reminder of the power and potential danger that can lie within the written word. They are stories that have been passed down through generations, their chilling narratives casting long shadows over the world of literature. As we close this book of curses, remember, there's always more than meets the eye when it comes to the power of the written word. These tales of cursed tomes remind us of the awe-inspiring and sometimes terrifying power that stories can hold. They invite us to delve deeper, to question more, and to never underestimate the influence that a book can wield.